Hello and welcome back the Medication Nation. Now in this video, I'm gonna be answering medical school assumptions that you guys have sent in. So without further ado, make sure you like, subscribe, and let's get into the video. The very first assumption that you guys have sent in is you need to do maths A-level if you want to do medicine. Now this is one of the most false assumptions that everyone makes the mistake of doing. I would say if you want to do medicine, the two most important A-levels for you to do are biology and chemistry. The third A-level choice is therefore almost completely up to you. You can do maths. If you enjoy maths, then I encourage you to do maths as that will probably benefit you in your degree later on. Although having said that, I haven't really done much maths so far and I'm currently in my fourth year. So if maths really isn't your thing, I would not stress about having to choose maths and I would simply do something that you enjoy, be it geography, economics, whatever really floats your boat. At the end of the day, life's too short to study subjects that you really don't enjoy. The second assumption is that all medical students are insanely smart and always get very, very good grades. Now, I would say to a certain extent, I understand where this is coming from, purely because getting into medical school is an extremely competitive process that relies significantly on academic requirements, uh, be it, you know, for instance, an Imperial, a good BMAT score, and make sure that you, you're getting the A-level grades of A-star AA, which are quite hard to get. So I understand where that's coming from, but I would say this isn't really true. In medical school, you have a wide variety of what I'd like to say academic abilities. You have those that are insanely smart, really, really clever, and you have those that you know, tend to struggle a bit more, and you need to put in that extra time and effort. And you know, in terms of us always getting really, really good grades, this is probably you know furthest from the truth. Every single year, we have you know a large proportion of students that fail their medical students. And you know, failing is a natural part of learning. You always learn from your mistakes. So not always do we you know, get insane grades. The important thing is how we learn from our failings and how we can move forward. And also, if you think about it, for medical school exams, the pass mark is literally, you know, for some medical schools, it's, it's only 50%. And, and that's all that some medical students try and achieve. So, you know, to say that we always strive for the top grades and everyone's insanely smart, I would say, you know, it's, it's a bit of an exaggeration. The next assumption that you guys have sent in is medical students are extremely competitive. Now for this one, I, I would have to agree with you. The large majority of students are extremely competitive. And I feel like this is born out of the fact that getting into medical school in the first place is an extremely competitive process. You know, it's very, very difficult to get in. You're going up with so many people and it's, you know, a lot of barriers are put in your way. So naturally, the people that get into medical school are already quite competitive. Furthermore, the environment, the way the system is set up is geared for competition. For instance, within each medical school, you get ranked top to bottom. And that, at the end of the day, is going to decide which hospital placements you get once you're qualified. Whether you get a nice cushy London job, or if you're going all the way up into Wales or Scotland or somewhere really, really rural and isolated, where you'd be away from friends and family. So naturally, there is this want and there is this drive to perform extremely well. And, you know, that's just the way of the system. The next assumption that you guys have sent in is medical school is extremely stressful and demanding. Now, I won't lie to you, there is some truth to this, as at certain times, you know, it is in fact quite stressful. However, the misconception is a lot of people think that it's always like that. It's every single day is extremely stressful, extremely hard work. You're working, uh, you know, eight, 10 hours a day, every single day. And I would say this couldn't be further from the truth. In fact, I would actually say that I haven't worked harder than year 13 of school, A-levels. That year for me has been easily the hardest year um, in terms of you know stress, demand, uh, academically, brain power wise. Uh, and so, you know, with medical school, I find myself having actually a lot more free time. Hence, you know, I'm, I'm on the YouTube. However, at times you do have to put your, pull your socks up and you do have to work hard. For me, I would say the most stressful time at medical school would probably be second year exams, purely because 
that is your last sort of preclinical year um, and you get something like you know 180 lectures and anatomy that you need to cram and essentially they get put in three exams and the exams are literally spaced one day apart all in one week so that was quite hectic leading up to that time but other than that I would say you know it's, it's been it's been pretty blessed now the next assumption that you guys have sent in is intercalation is a waste of time now for those of you who don't know what intercalation is intercalation is essentially when you take a year out of medical school to essentially you know explore another degree a bsc degree and that could be again in a, in a science related field so i myself am doing one currently in pharmacology or it could be in a non-science related field such as business or bioengineering although that is you know quite sciencey but more from an engineering's perspective uh, and also the great thing with the intercalation year is that medical schools allow you to intercalate at other unis so you can go to a different uni for a whole entire year and experience the culture and make friends and stuff over there so that's you know an extremely wonderful opportunity and that's why i think intercalation is extremely extremely useful from you know not only from a cv standpoint and the fact that you get a bsc degree in a year which you know many of your friends non-medical would, would bite your hand off for and also the fact that you actually get a year out of medicine it gives you a brilliant refresh so that you can come back into medicine with a sharp refreshed mind and ready to absolutely ace those last two years which needs it most so i think not only is it a great opportunity but also i think it's a much needed break from the course which is you know quite intense at times so you know i i, I completely disagree with this and i am so grateful that i have the opportunity to integrate and even if it was optional for me 100 percent every day of the week i would be integrating okay so thank you very much for tuning in I think it is just a, you know, a really interesting, more relaxed vibe to the videos. Uh, so again, make sure you like, subscribe. Medication Nation over and out. Peace.